Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washef at vareva.com. We all love our masala vada. Today we are going to make the Middle Eastern masala vada that is falafel. You know, we take chana dal, but they take the whole chana dal that is a chickpeas. You know, soak these chickpeas overnight. Drain out the water and just use very little water to make this um, falafel. You know, little water is required because just like the masala vada, you want nice binding. In this, add uh, chopped coriander and they add lot of parsley. Since I don't have a fresh parsley, I am going to use the dry parsley. In this, add cumin powder. You know, we love to use cinnamon in our masala vada and a red chilli hole. But here we are going to use the cumin, some pepper powder and some paprika or uh, even red chilli powder should be fine. Add whole garlic or chopped garlic, onion, some salt. Now we are going to put this in a blender and make it into a coarse paste. Look at this. This has to be ground coarsely. Do not make it into a fine paste. And for the best results use a food processor rather than a just a regular blender like what I did. But even in a blender you can do it. That is the reason why I am not using my food processor. I did it in the blender. And in this add pinch of baking powder. Sometimes you can mess up this mixture and if your falafel is getting crumbled in the oil, that's when you can use little bit of chickpea flour. But look at this, if I make a small dumpling, it should stick. If it is not sticking, then you may need to add, you know, little bit of water and also little bit of chickpea flour that will help it bind easily. So just to show you, I'm just adding some chickpea flour and also very little water. Do not add too much, just sufficient for this chickpea flour. That should be good enough. In this, you can also add some lemon juice. If you want to add more of uh, coriander leaves and parsley, you can definitely add more of coriander leaf and parsley. But here, for me, this is good enough for my taste. When you make this falafel, do not press it hard. You know, while we make masala vada, we are used to making them flat by pressing it hard. But these falafels have to be lot lighter. That is the reason we added a little baking powder. So do not press it hard and just drop it in the oil. You know, if you are scared of putting things in hot oil, you can always use the wire mesh to do that. Just, uh, you know, make them round or flat, whatever shape you want. If these are breaking, you can add a little bit of all-purpose flour, that is maida and then nothing can break this. It's a very easy to make. And some people also add egg in the recipe. I don't know why they do, but they do. Now I'm going to add all of them. Unlike our masala vadas, which are crispy in and out, these falafels have to be soft inside and slightly crispy on the outside. You know, nothing like eating this falafel in pita bread along with some salad vegetables and tahini sauce. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Pour the tahini sauce just before you have them because you want the falafels to be nice and crunchy. Wow. With any salad you can enjoy this um, falafel. Ah. In another session I am going to show you how to make this pita bread. But today make this falafel and even put it on a nice fulka along with a little bit of salads and tahini sauce and enjoy it. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's session. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.